This is Brett Waltzmath of The Headliner and Starwatch Media reporting from the 2011 Dallas International Film Festival. Okay, Buckaroos, a story about Jerry Jeff Walker's life. What was your, for you, what was your reason for wanting to do a documentary about his life and career? What was your inspiration? I love the guy, I love his music. Uh, he had an influence on me, God almighty, how, half a century ago, early 70s. Wow. Um, yeah, early 70s, and I just, I love the guy. I mean, I mean, I think he's in the pantheon of writers. You put him up there with Dylan and Van Morrison and Neil Young, and this is one of the guys right here. Mr. Walker, you've had an incredible music career for, for so long. What's been the key to your success, and, and who have been the, mu the musicians that have inspired you throughout your career? Well, I think if, if you go through them, like the Texas Playboys all played till they passed away. They usually passed away after a gig. So they told you you can go the, the long distance. I always wanted to be a songwriter and play music, and I've been fortunate enough to still have crowds come out and enjoy the music, and that makes me feel good. I don't always feel good, but I feel good when I'm playing. What was it like for you to just have this documentary based upon your life and career? What was that like for you? Well, I didn't know what it was going to be. I knew there was a bunch of stuff that had piled up, and I, I couldn't begin to fathom it. Can I tell you what his answer was Please do. recently? He said, uh, Susan told me that Patrick was going to shoot me, and I thought I was going to be shot. <laughs> yeah. Patrick, what would you like your audience to take away from this documentary? A new way to look at concert films. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's, it's not a huge genre. It's not... You know, it's it's not masterpiece theater. It's 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 the it's the soul and heart of this guy's ability to en engage a crowd and perform. And I think what we did is we took that and we really found a way to tell a story about it. Mr. Walker, do you currently have uh, any musical projects? Are you currently working on an album? Will you be touring in the near future where people can hear you? The well, idea I have is I would like to be able to play onto the internet today right now and have the music for sale right away but then I want to be able to take it away after about five days. Oh I like this. I hadn't heard this. This is a great idea. This is a great idea. Well, right here with us. I'm, I'm, <laughs> always, I'm always kind of bothered by the delay of everything and I thought well we live in such an instantaneous age wouldn't it be nice if we could sit down today and just play six, six songs that we really enjoy. Old ones, new ones, things you've written and put it out there and say it's going to be out here for three days, well, however long that, how many hours that is, 72 hours. That's about how we do the movie then. And then, then say, I'm going to take it away. You either buy it now or you don't get it. We're going to do the movie that way. But you got to tell, I mean, but here's a man who whose yeah. albums were thematic, oh, right? I'm, I'm Viva League had a theme, all his albums had a theme, and has dealt with the fact that there's no themes in albums anymore. It's songs. And he's done a good job. Okay. Upcoming projects for you. Excuse me? Upcoming. Upcoming projects for you. Uh, I'm going to do a film on torture. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Congratulations.